What is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. A lot of people in the COD scene are gonna get pissed off. Reason being because Treyarch and Activision added supply drops to Black Ops 4 pretty much unexpectedly and unannounced. So the tier system has just also changed completely as well. And I'm gonna dive into all of that in a second here. But first off, just know that I am not happy about this new system. I don't think this was the right move to change up how loot is earned in the game. And yeah, maybe you guys feel differently or maybe you agree. Regardless, please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. But basically, in the black market menu, there is a new tab called reserves. And in this section, you can earn reserve crates or you can buy them for 200 COD points. So kind of the same thing as in the previous COD games, right? However, in Black Ops 4, the tier system is no longer a thing now. Every single piece of loot item has been moved into the reserve crate. So if you want an item that's not unlockable in the new operation stream, then you just simply have to earn it by getting lucky with a reserve crate. So even if you go past tier 100, unfortunately, after that, you literally do not get anything again after you hit tier 100 you cannot earn any type of loot item from the supply stream so you can pay 100 dollars to complete the grand heist operation stream but like i said after that you cannot earn any other item unless it's through these reserve crates now you can earn them by playing blackout or multiplayer but the time to unlock those crates literally take on average about two to three hours that's what i've been reading and that's what i've seen I've been playing for about an hour now and I have not yet earned a single reserve crate Also, you do only get one a single item in those reserve crates that you can unlock by playing the game And you do have the possibility of getting duplicates in those so after all of that playing time Well, sorry fuck you you only get a one item that could either be a common sticker or a common emblem Let alone a duplicate item so that has me very very upset right now and a Another thing I'm not happy about is I've seen a few of my friends open up reserve crates like a lot of them and they're getting the same camo over and over again but for a different weapon. I see a lot of duplicates as well. I do like though that you can reroll crates however I just didn't see or even get this many duplicates with the tier system like I, I do with these reserve drops. It's, it's insane how many duplicates I've been getting um, from, from this gameplay you guys are watching right now. And I wish they would have ran this by the players first or posted this on Reddit like, hey, this is what we're doing. Are you, are you guys okay with this? What are your thoughts? How can we make this system better? Definitely one of the things I would have mentioned is, hey, the camos earned through reserve drops should be universal and apply to all of the weapons. Don't let players have like 30 different chances for each weapon to unlock the same camo over again, but for a different weapon like... At that point, you're literally stacking the loot pool so that way players can't get the newest items or the best character skins or signature weapons. So yes, I do think the new reserve crates or supply drops, whatever you want to call them, are a horrible system, especially because it takes even longer to earn the crates. There is no crypto keys or other type of currency. Like, like the devs just should have ran this by us first and given us a chance to add input. Um, but I am going to do that right now, so hopefully one of the devs are listening, which I highly doubt. But I do think that you should definitely increase the time to open or obtain these reserve crates. Like two to three hours to earn a single crate is just literally not fair at all. Compared to previous COD games, players were getting like supply drops like maybe three or to five every single hour or something like that. Um, so definitely that needs to be looked at. I would have liked to have seen a, a secondary currency added to the game. Um, you know, there's so many different, like, things Treyarch could have done and Activision could have done to make this better, to make this more fair, but they just didn't run this by the fans at all. They, they simply just said, you know what, here's a surprise after all this hype players are getting about the new operation. You know, let's just add supply drops into the game, but make it a whole lot worse than we've ever seen before in previous COD history. So those are my thoughts, guys. Please tell me yours down below in the comment section. Also, drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.